well. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to just a great morning, a great day. This is gonna be such an exciting week ahead. It's gonna be a hometown, a hometown vlog. Probably not gonna film the most because I try to really spend quality time with my family since I don't see them a lot and I don't think they are too interested in being on camera over the years, but I'm going home to North Carolina in a few days to see my family just before things get super busy with like summer travels and like my life's just about to get like crazier over the next few months. So I'm so excited I'm gonna be going to North Carolina. So it's just an exciting week ahead. UNC's killing it in March Madness where I went to college and I'm just overall in great spirits. I'm about to be filming an entryway makeover video. I showed it in my house where it's just like so plain. There's like literally nothing there. It looks exactly the same as it did when I moved in. And I finally have like come up with ideas to spice it up. So I don't know if that video will be up by now. I'll have it linked if so. That's probably gonna be like a very time consuming task. That's probably gonna be my day. But before I go jump into that, I'm so excited to do a little Lulu's haul on the note of travel and like actually here in a couple weeks, I, well, it's like festival weekend and then I'm going to Mexico with Giselle for a few days. So thinking ahead to like all of that and warmer weather and like vacation vibes, I've been starting to like browse around, shop around for some outfits, especially like thinking ahead to like the summer. And what in the world I'm gonna like wear around these countries I'm exploring. I'm going to Europe if you don't know, but where it's like gonna be so hot and at the same time where I'm packing in a carry-on. So I think like dresses are the way to go. So Anyways, I have, I've laid everything out and I'm gonna try it on. Just picked out a bunch of like spring transitional, like winter to spring summer items from Lulu's who's sponsoring this video. So everything's gonna be linked below if you wanna shop any of this. So here's what we got. I'm gonna start with the things I'm very excited about, which are maxi dresses. I've already been wearing this around the house. This is just a little patterned maxi. We have like a little V-neck going, adjustable straps. Um, Since I am short, like this is the front of the dress, believe it or not, I like tighten these all the way. I'm 5'2 for context and this is, the length of the dress on me and overall I think it's just like so flowy like lightweight again thinking of like what I can comfortably wear around in hot weather all day additionally this is a bit more of a dress up dress I am feeling like I'm gonna pack this to Mexico for like a little resort dinner is the vibe I get from this dress I love this front I think it's so cute this is a little halter adjustable the mid back has a cute like knotted tie detail and again it's just giving me resort vibes same great length again then I'm gonna come over here to yet another maxi dress I just like a simple plain black one. You guys know I love wearing all black. I think this dress is so perfect for like a day to night type thing. Like you can dress this up. It's casual enough to just like wear around with sandals or you could like really accessorize, make it all glam, you know, whip out some heels. So that's just like a very versatile item. And then next I picked this out as like a cover up dress. This is actually the back of it. It kind of is like, um, like a lower back. This is the front, just like a plain little striped dress. It's like lightweight in nature. It feels kind of cover up-y and just the open sides. And then I think the little double straps are just very like nautical vibes, you know? So it's giving grease. I'm very excited for that. Next, this isn't like necessarily vacation. I just thought this was really cute. And then I would try it. Um, always here for a fun bodysuit, and I've really been trying to like branch out because most things I wear day to day are like just the same tops over and over. When it comes to like jeans outfits, like here for spring is it's like not too hot in LA. I wanted just like more fun tops. Like I don't just want to wear like my plain black tank top every day and jeans. Like that's typically what I do. So I just thought this cutout was cool. Thought it was unique. We love a thong back to a bodysuit, you know? So you don't have any lines with your pants going on. Snap bottom, we love. And then moving over to two matching sets. These I more so have in mind for probably like Mexico coming up. So first up, I just have this linen, like neutral fit. It zips up in the back, it has pockets, and it's like a really big flowy pant. And then the top is just simple on the front. Then it has another like cute knot detail on the back. So we love the little details, spicing things up. And then moving over for this black fit. This is definitely like a, like big on the bottom, like fitted up top vibe. There's like lots of fabric at the bottom, which I feel like kind of the look these days. And then it's just paired with this little black top that you tie in the middle and the front. Um, it's like a stretchy vacation material again, and then just plain on the back. And then for two cover up options, I'm always into just like a little scarf skirt <laughs> to like wrap around, easy to throw around you for like when you're walking around on vacation or like at the beach where you just want a little bit more coverage. And then for an option, like thinking way ahead again to like, I'm feeling feeling like, you know, Mykonos, let's say, where you want to go to like, not like beach club, but like, I don't know, there are certain areas where you're like all day spending the day in your bathing suit, you know what I mean? And I wanted to like have a cuter option of like a cover up. And I just thought this was like so interesting. It's a little bit longer as well. So I just know for me, I'm just going to feel a little bit more covered. Um, just like a knit material. And then lastly, moving over to a few top options. This again, I just thought would be like a fun summery top 
like some light wash jeans. I just thought this coat was really cute, like a little bit spiced up from a regular tank top. And then moving over here, these are actually just repurchases. They're like so comfy, don't need a bra. You can wear these with sweats, like they've been my go-to on like past trips, just a pair with skirts, but they're just cropped, and these just like fit like a glove and are so comfortable. So again, I'm gonna have everything linked. Lulu's is like, I mean that white shirt I keep wearing all the time, I've had for years, it's out of stock, um, but that I've filmed some H&L videos in lately. It's just a staple. Lulu's has like just the best vacation and like summery clothes, even like wedding outfits for like attending weddings. They just have great like formal options. So thank you so much to them for partnering with me on this. I've never worked with Lulu's, and this is very exciting because I've spent a lot of money there throughout time, so everything will be like below I'm gonna hang all this stuff up get to working on my entryway makeover and probably honestly pick up this vlog tonight so let's get to it <laughs> it is much later in today I am exhausted from assembling this like entryway table and like sitting on the floor and bending over for a million hours so my back is hurting Giselle is here it's Monday night which we have proclaimed to be our date night each week okay. So for this week's date night, we had very exciting plans to go to a rooftop movie theater and get dinner. And then because of the rain, it was canceled. So we ordered Thai food. We're just going to watch um, Love Island. So we're going to Spider-Man eventually, yeah? Oh, yeah? All right, we got Pad Thai, Pad CU. What is that? I don't even know. I've never had it. That's oh. why I got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, we have made it two years and a couple weeks <laughs> strong. Yours truly is finally tested positive for COVID. I guess on one hand, it's like incredible that I made it this long. Last night, like later into the evening, I started just feeling like my throat felt scratch again in the same way that it has with allergies. The Flonase I've been using has been helping a lot. You guys were like giving me all your allergy tips a couple of videos ago, which I so appreciate. And so yesterday I just thought, okay, I'm having another little allergy moment. Like this has happened like four or five times now where it's like my throat scratchy, like blah, blah, blah. It's never painful. It's just like annoying. Like it's not, it's uncomfortable. I guess that's the word. So I thought that was happening yesterday because I'd been in and outside. I was filming my little like entryway makeover video. At one part during that, I like got this pompous grass and I opened it and that was shedding everywhere. Like I was breathing that in and after that is when this situation started so I thought okay I'm having another allergy moment. All night my throat just felt like dry. I also took a COVID test yesterday when I was like starting to feel not great. It was negative like it is every time. But then I find out that I was exposed. So today feeling a little worse. I don't feel 100%. My body doesn't feel 100% you know like it's just when you're sick, you don't feel the best, but I'm not like congested. I'm coughing some. I'm not even coughing anything up, like it's dry. And so I took my little at-home test again today because I'm supposed to go to North Carolina tomorrow to visit my family, see my two of my best friends from college. We're gonna be in town. And so I took a test and I was seeing from like pretty early on, like the faintest line, hardly there, but I was like, all right, this is obviously positive. Certainly positive. <laughs> So the past little bit has been interesting. I've had to call Delta and have like let everyone know who like I was gonna be seeing in North Carolina. I've only seen one friend on Monday, so I let her know. That's where we're at. Part of me is still wondering because this was like the faintest line and like from exposure, when I took the test, I was still under 72 hours. A part of me is like, is this actually symptoms of COVID or are these my allergy symptoms again? Cause this feels like it always does. And like my COVID symptoms haven't even hit yet. Like I just caught the test really early. You know what I mean? I mean, on one hand, like I don't want to have this right now. I really want to be home with my family. Some time has passed, I've accepted it. And now I'm just kind of like, I'm trying to see the positives of getting it right now. Is that like, A, I didn't go home and then figure out I had it and like be around my family. And then like also not be able to come, fly back for a long time I'm glad I'm not getting it like when I'm out of the country and trying to like fly back into the US but I feel like I have like the slightest headache or not that could be in my head I feel like my body hurts like slightly but that could also just not be happening either <laughs> like we'll see what symptoms develop into but right now no fever I'm praying that my booster is going to like do me right here you know like, however I am pretty behind I have a video that was due today to a brand I am concerned as well that I'm gonna start to feel worse over the next couple of days I'm not supposed to film another video but I just have like so much work in general and I am worried <laughs> that I'm gonna just be feeling bad and get even more behind but I'm just gonna get back to editing and try to keep treating this like a normal day even though it's so distracting and like I honestly would love to just like 
kick back and watch Love Island for forever. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm gonna be by myself for the next however many days. Well, that's something I need to figure out is Giselle's situation because I saw her. Guys, <clears throat> happy Monday. You saw me at the start. <laughs> And you're seeing me now that it's over. My five days are actually over. I ended up having like one really bad day. I never had a fever. And I was like congested and coughing, but that was like it. So I had it way milder than I could have. Now we're out the other side. I'm so behind on work because of the past week. I'm wearing my UNC shirt because we made it to yet another national championship. Um, if you followed me in college, you might remember my junior and senior year, UNC made it to the NCAA championship. Switching to my iPhone because it's ran out of space. But we won it my senior year. It was so much fun. We made it again, which we do. And we are gonna be in the championship game tonight. I'm just gonna watch that from home. Also, um, people have been DMing asking, Giselle never got COVID. And she's been with me here the whole time. I'd already exposed her, obviously. And she was just carrying on like normal. We were kind of assuming she was gonna get it. She didn't really separate from me and she never got it. Literally never got it. Tested negative nonstop. So I think she's in the clear too, which is crazy. I'm just going to look terrible for this video. And that's just that. <laughs> <clears throat> Yesterday on my main channel, I posted my entryway makeover videos and I love how it turned out. I will have that video linked and apparently would really appreciate people watching it because I love how this video turned out. Like, this is one of my favorite videos I've done in a really long time. And apparently people don't like, <laughs> aren't into this topic, but I just love how it turned out. And so I'm sad. I feel like I haven't been like disappointed in a video's performance in a while. And I think it's just cause like, I actually really liked this one. It's, it almost feels like the more effort I put in, the worse things do. I don't know. <laughs> but I'll have the entryway makeover linked if you want to watch it. I'm now cleared from COVID. I've waited a couple days extra even, and I am now going to a rumble class. I have a very exciting day ahead. Like, I'm actually doing things today, it feels like, instead of just working from home all day. I mean, staying at home wasn't remarkably different than, like, I don't know. Like, I go stretches of time, like, that much or longer where I literally, like, don't see people and like just stay home and whatever but very happy to be feeling better and i have some exciting plans this week and i think it's just going to be a wonderful week also does anyone else who goes to workout classes stay in their car until the last possible second i don't know like i will wait until like the three minute mark so i can go in check in and like roll straight into class like i don't know what it is when i have to like wait around standing around it like makes me nervous <laughs> or something but then i feel like anxious for the class so i just wait in my car so that's what i'm doing 10 minutes to class and about Seven, eight minutes, I should walk inside. Just finished, that was a struggle. I almost left halfway through, because I really thought I was gonna be sick. But I was like, okay, just like stick it out. I can do the minimum amount, like whatever. So I stuck with it. But when class ended, I also like felt sick again. So I pulled myself together. If anyone watches the L word, Danny, no, I was just in my class, so that was exciting. <laughs> I am back at home. I have like seven or eight minutes until I need to be on that call. I'm going to take a really quick shower. I need to get ready and have some emails and like work stuff. I need to hopefully try to at least like put a little bit of a dent in um, before I go to a brand event later with Caitlin that I will tell you about then. <laughs> I was thinking. <laughs> All right, it is now 11.10. I'm meeting Caitlin at 12. I don't know what I was thinking where I thought I had time to like, where I was gonna do work or something. Like I did a little. I don't know why I failed to factor in the time it was gonna take me to get ready. And where I'm going right now, so first at noon, I'm meeting Caitlin at the Revolve Social Club that you may have seen people posting about. I didn't really get what it is. <laughs> they also have events there. I almost went to an event a couple weeks ago and I wish I had, but I was just so tired. It was like on a, like, Tuesday night or something. It was for International Women's Day, and so it was a panel of a bunch of people, and the one that interested me was, uh, what's her name? The girl on How I Met Your Father that played Adrian in Secret Life of the American Teenager. Loved her, loved that show, great role. We really liked Adrian. <laughs> so it would've been cool to go see her. Then we are heading to Hollywood to this like, gifting suite or like brand showroom type thing or it's a pop-up i know lulu's is like the main sponsor but it's a bunch of like beauty other things it's like a festival themed gifting suite or gifting house i believe so that's fun i've not been to a little gifting suite moment in forever it's just like the coolest coolest thing that happens you know <laughs> just go and like freely shop
monkey clip. All right, with Caitlin, we feel like we're learning. The monkey clip. We literally are acting as if we're on another planet. <laughs> Like, forget it. I don't even know. I don't even know how to describe it. We, we're like walking around like aliens, like touching something, like, eh, like yeah. taking pictures, like not knowing how to take photos. We're glitching. Anymore. We were, we're glitching. glitching. <laughs> okay, I need glitch. to try, but it's just an unusual day. I feel frazzled is a great word to describe it. <laughs> I am back at home. I've been laying on the couch. I have a splitting headache right now. It is so hot outside. It gets like 95. I have not eaten enough today in general for this time of day, much less when I've like already worked out this morning because I was running so behind. I was like scarfing down crackers in the car and then like got a little smoothie with Caitlin. I'm so hungry. I do not feel good at all. So just took Advil. Now that I finally am about to eat food, now I'm like back to life. My hands are dirty. Save me, please. All right, here's what I picked up today. Just a brief run through. I got this really cute, like, vacation-y shirt that I think is, like, a cute little off-the-shoulder cut. Also from Lulu's. I thought, so they had, like, a rack, and then I you said what you wanted and what size, and they would bring it to you. And so, in this exact fabric, there's this, like, cover-up, like, midi dress thing, and then they also had it in, like, cover-up pants. And I asked for the pants, but in the bag, they, like, look the same. So, just discovered that I got the dress. Still very cute. Um, I got this little simple gold necklace. And then, over here, just like a plain oversized white button down and then these are all of the beauty skincare things i picked up and i got some matcha which is very exciting i've got a little like immunity herbal tea blend and then i got some hairspray i got a couple of brands of those like little uh zit patch dot things some little self tanning drops some bug oil like bug repellent which i need because i get bit by mosquitoes all the time and i am so stocked up 